Today we know that the brain is so plastic, so malleable, so capable of forging new connections throughout life that we are continuously capable of learning new things and developing the brain. But the thing with the brain is, it's use it or lose it. In the sense that if you don't engage the brain, that part of the brain simply doesn't develop. And that's the last comment I will make about brain functioning. I want to show you a slide of what is all too often the product of conventional education. And that is violent students, violent citizens with brains like the one on the right. What you see on the right hand side is the, actually the bottom view of a brain. And you see what look like holes in the brain, a lot of them. Now these aren't actually holes in the gray matter, but they are parts of the gray matter that just aren't firing. They're not participating actively in our moment by moment experience of life. This fragmentation of the brain results from conventional education where the total brain is never engaged and the orderliness or coherent brain functioning simply never arises and therefore the brain doesn't develop in a coherent orderly way. What's scarier actually is if you look again, you see that there's a clustering of these holes at the top of this chart on the right. And the top of this chart represents this critical prefrontal cortex, the higher brain, so-called CEO of the brain here. It's called the CEO of the brain because it's supposed to sit essentially over the brain and exert executive control over the whole brain and it's our rational center responsible for the so-called higher human functions, moral reasoning, judgment, planning, the ability to take into account the repercussions of one's actions, for example. It's our rational filter against primitive, aggressive, impulsive, violent behavior. Now, this prefrontal cortex, this, it, it's supposed to develop, it begins to turn on at adolescence, normally. And by the age of 25, it stops developing. So we've got a dozen years there to develop our higher brain that distinguishes us from animal life, essentially. <clears throat> and education isn't really directly engaging it. It must be developed and it must be integrated with the total brain. But even worse, under stress, this prefrontal cortex, the CEO of the brain, shuts down. And it's a good thing, because if somebody's taking a swig at you, for example, you've got to duck, and you've got to duck now, instinctively. It's not the time to philosophize about it. But under chronic stress, the higher brain shuts down chronically and simply fails to develop properly, leading, right, leading to, for example, an epidemic of ADHD. ADHD is just a lack of development of the executive control of the brain. And ADHD is now known to be a stress-related learning disorder, learning disability, and all the other stress-related problems that our children are being medicated for by the millions. So I think, frankly, that it's really important that we give kids a tool that will prevent the deleterious effects of stress, not just on health, but on brain development. And more than just prevents the deleterious effects that prevent proper development of the brain, but that actually actively engages the brain and develops the brain holistically. That's what I fundamentally believe that education should be about the development of the full potential of consciousness.